An exciting discovery in brain cancer research. Scientists at UCLA have a new method they believe could help save lives. UCLA scientists are using a special scan to figure out which brain cancer patients could benefit from a new drug. KCAL 9's Rick Garcia is here now with more on this discovery. Rick. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Juan. Doctors hope the technique will lead to less exposure to unnecessary side effects from chemo and radiation. But as with any new study, more research is needed to confirm the findings. After surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy to eradicate brain tumors, 57-year-old Bronnie McNabb developed new ones. But since taking the newly approved brain cancer drug Avastan, his tumors are gone. This is probably the best I have felt since this first came on. While Avastan is working for McNabb, about half of patients with recurring cancer don't respond to it. This patient, you can see, has... Uh, a lot of tumor here. Researchers at UCLA have uncovered a new way to analyze scans and determine which tumors might respond to treatment. They found that some glioblastoma brain tumors are more solid while others contain more moving water. Well, what we're looking at is the movement of water molecules within the tumor. And what we found is that tumors that have a lot of movement of water molecules due to the death of cells within the tumor, those are tumors that respond well to avastin therapy. Glioblastoma is the deadliest form of brain cancer. It strikes about 12,000 Americans a year. When every day counts, determining if tumors will respond to certain drugs is critical. I've gone several months beyond what they told me would be my outside length of time to live with this. Researchers hope that one day they'll be able to tell exactly which tumors will respond to Avastin or other cancer-fighting drugs, giving patients the best chance at living.